our last section, we introduced you to what is inside of a microcontroller. The CPU, the program memory, the data memory, and the peripherals. In this section, we're going to look at the most commonly used peripheral, the timer. Recall, microcontroller peripherals simply perform tasks that the CPU cannot do itself, or the CPU is simply too busy to perform. Timers specifically fall into the do something the CPU is too busy to do group. So what do timers do? In the most general sense, timers count. And that's it. It's really that simple. Most timers can count up or down. It depends upon how flexible their design is. However, most of the time we think about timers counting up from zero. If they count up, you can specify in your program how high you want the timer to count to. For example, you can tell a timer to count for 10 seconds and let you know when it is done. However, timers cannot count forever. Timers do have a maximum value they can count to that is specified by how they were designed. Timers are usually classified either as 8-bit, 16-bit, or 32-bit timers, depending upon how much memory they were allocated to do their counting when it was designed. If a timer is an 8-bit timer, it can count up to 255, the maximum integer value you can store in 8-bits of memory. If a timer is a 16-bit timer, it can count up to 65,535, and similarly, a 32-bit timer can count up to 4 billion. The timers in our microcontrollers are 16-bit devices, so all of our future material will focus on the 65,535 upper limit. In our next video, we will look at the different types of things that timers can count. Thanks for watching.